Hey everyone, and welcome to episode 50 of Root Beer Library. I'm your host, Matthew, and on this channel, we taste root beer soda and snacks first, so you don't have to. All right, so we made it to episode 50. Woohoo! We are 50 away from going to A&W and having a burger, fries, and A&W root beer float. Super excited to be getting to that, but first we got to get through episode 50 and on today's episode we are tasting a butterscotch beer. This is by the Flying Cauldron. It's a butterscotch beer. It's non-alcoholic. Uh, so it's basically a butterscotch cream soda. So I'm really excited about it. And if you're new to this channel, thanks for stopping by and don't forget to subscribe and smash the bell and you'll know whenever we post a new video. Let's go ahead and pop this top and get into it. Alright, today we are doing the Flying Cauldron Butterscotch Beer. Again, this is a non-alcoholic drink. It is basically a butterscotch cream soda. I'm super excited to be doing this. It's a killer label. Um, this brings back my thing is like, I wish like root beer companies would do printed stuff on their bottles, not necessarily these labels that peel off, because I think they'd be kind of cool and collectible. My thing. Let's pop this top. Oh, there we go. Whoa. That's a nice creamy smell. It does say it's a magical brew. We'll find out. Man, that's got a good, good butterscotch smell. I'm like on a high this week. It's been just good after a nut. Well, we had one bad one this week. Yeah, we had a bad we had a bad root beer this week, which kind of bums me out. We we tried Martian poop this week and some other sodas, and the one like root beer we really had that was just a standard straight up root beer this week sucked. Bummed out about that, but super pumped about this. Whoa, man. So I had a butterscotch root beer earlier a um, couple days ago, which smelled really butterscotchy. This knocks that out of the park. Like this is, this is like knocked. Anyway, this smells better than that one from a butterscotch standpoint. It smells just like the Barks um, little candies. I mean, this is like a dead on. If you put the two next, you wouldn't. Anyway, it smells really good. I just want to be like all day long. That smells so good. Wow. Whoa. Wow. Oh my gosh, that's good. Um, so this is a cream soda. It's not a root beer. So I'm not looking for that root beer kind of aftertaste where you get a little bit of that barky spice. I'm looking just for the cream soda and this is creamy. Really creamy. It's got a good flavor. It's just hanging around. It's very butterscotchy. It's it's very butterscotchy, but it's got a really nice l lemon. Oh. Episode 50, Matt. You're not supposed to screw up. It's got a really nice butterscotch with a vanilla underlying tone. That's really really good. Man, this is good. Highly recommend this. Mmm. Not spitting it, man. I'm drinking that. That's good. So funny thing, um, my wife and I keep talking about doing whole 30, and she's like, "How are you gonna do this and whole 30?" And I'm like, "Oh, I'm just gonna spit it out all the time." Um, that doesn't always work. So I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna figure it out. We did whole 30 about a year or so ago, and it went really, really well. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's like an eating plan where you eat specific and cleanse your body for 30 days. Really helped me. Um, I've unfortunately um, stopped going to the gym and, and um, yeah, you know, gained a couple pounds back. So she's like, hey, you think we could do that again and you could get back to the gym? But I did get back to the gym. Started going in the morning again. Thank you, Chris. If you're watching this video, thanks for pushing me and getting me back at the gym at like four in the morning, which sucks because I go to bed at like four in the morning. So hey, it's great. So anyway, tangent today, I don't know, episode 50, I'm st super stoked. It's been a great week. Really good tasting butterscotch cream soda here. Um, the Flying Cauldron 
just knocked this one out of the park. Really, really good. Um, really enjoying it. Kind of looking at the sugars. You know what? This has got like way less sugars than a typical root beer. So I don't feel as bad now. Really good. Two thumbs up. Highly recommend this. Definitely got to get it. There's a link down below as to where you can purchase some for yourself. I really do recommend it. Uh, again, uh, pairing this, I'm going just vanillas. Vanillas. Ooh. You know, a pistachio with this might be really good. The two flavors together might really pop. So maybe like a, a pistachio ice cream. I know, it's a little weird. It's green. This is, it might look funny, but I think it tastes really good. Definite two thumbs up. Hey guys, episode 50, 50 in the book. Woohoo! Those of you that have been hanging around with me for all this time, I think I got like three followers at this point in time. I really appreciate it. Now I got like 31. Appreciate you guys. Really do. Thank you guys, everybody that's been watching and hanging out with me. So we've through episode 50. We'll keep on rolling and trucking. Again, I'm your host, Matthew. And don't forget to like and share so we can grow from 31 on up. And as always, drink responsibly. Thanks. We'll see you on the next episode.